Hey guys, welcome to Budget EDH. On this week's episode, we bring you Calamax the Stormsire out of Commander 2020. Calamax is one, a green, a blue, and a red for a legendary creature, Elemental Dinosaur. Whenever you cast your first instant spell each turn, if Calamax the Stormsire is tapped, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Whenever you copy an instant spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Calamax. All right, guys, so we are going to give this deck away. It's been a while since we've done a contest, and I thought this was a great opportunity. All you have to do to enter this contest is be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this video, and then put a comment in the comment box. I'll reach out to whoever wins after 630 and set up shipping for the deck, and it will include the 100 cards that you see in the video and on the deck list in the show notes below. It will also include a deck box and Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves already sleeved up and ready to play with your friends. Check out the show notes down below for all the rules of the contest and good luck in the contest everybody. All prices in this video are powered by TCG Player. If you guys are going to be shopping on TCG Player it would mean the world to me if you guys would use my affiliate link which I'll put up on the screen right now and it will also be in the show notes down below. It doesn't cost you anything but it does help the channel out quite a bit if you use that affiliate link. Calamax cares about instant spells. If he's tapped once per turn you can copy an instant spell that you play, making him a very powerful commander. Because of his synergy with instants, we do have quite a bit of interaction in this deck. Putting a single targeted removal spell in this deck with Calamax tapped means you can take care of two permanents or creatures with that spell making it very powerful. We do want ways of tapping Calamax down. We don't want to have to rely solely on attacking with him. If our opponents do have a blocker or some sort of combat trick, we don't want to get blown out when we go to send our Calamax in. So we do have some ways of tapping him down at instant speed. There are also a quite a bit of instant synergy cards in this deck, things that reduce the mana cost of instants or other ways of copying instant spells with certain enchantments and things like that. Calamax is really great with forks. So you can go to play a spell and then fork your spell and then Calamax will copy the fork and you can infinitely copy that fork until Calamax gets as big as you want. So forks inherently are very good. And then we'll go over some of the win cons that we have in this deck. There's a couple two card combos in this deck and other ways of winning. Let's quickly go over the stats in this deck. So we have 12 ramp spells and 12 card draw spells. And those are both above what we usually want to have in a deck which is around 10. Now it is under on board wipes. We only have one board wipe in this deck, but all of our single targeted removal spells can count for two with Calamax tapped on the battlefield. So we will have a lot of ways of removing opponents' problematic permanents. Removal and counter spells, we have 15. So like I said, there is a lot more removal and counter spells. We have 38 instant cards, and then we have 16 cards that synergize well with instants, putting our total count on the instants theme at 54, which is half the deck. So majority Majority of the cards in this deck do revolve around the instant theme. You've got 54 plus your lands. First up, let's go over the ramp that we have in this deck. We do want to keep our ramp to two mana or less so that we can curve into Calamax and potentially get him down a turn earlier so we can swing in, get him tapped, and then start copying our powerful instants. So first up, we have Soul Ring. It taps to add two colorless to your mana pool. Then we have two of the Signets. We have Simic and Is it, And then you can pay one, tap it, and it adds two different colors to your mana pool. Then we have Felwar Stone. It's two generic mana. Taps to add a mana of any color that a land in a opponent controls could produce. Then Talisman of Creativity and Talisman of Curiosity both tap to add a colorless, or you can tap to add two different colors to your mana pool, but it deals a damage to you. Then we have a couple of instants that help us ramp, and with Calamax on the battlefield tap, these are going to be doubled, which is really great. So we've got Growth Spiral. It lets you draw a card, and then you put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. Natural Connection is a weaker rampant growth. Costs an extra mana, but you get to do it at instant speed, which lets you get two lands if Calamax is tapped when you play this. Harrow as an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a land, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. And if you copy this, you won't have to sacrifice two lands with this. You only have to sacrifice the first one. So with Calamax on the battlefield tapped, this will get you four lands and you sacrifice one land, which is really great. Next up, let's go over ways that we can draw cards or search for different cards off the top of our library. So first up, we have Brainstorm. It's an instant, lets you draw three cards, put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Preordain lets you scry two, and then you draw a card, and then Ponder lets you look at the top three of your library, then put them back in any order. You shuffle your library and then draw a card. These three cards are great at having draw selection. They don't really draw you an extra card. They do allow you to dig and find some of the cards that you're looking for in the deck. The next three cards are all instants, and these are very good with Calamax tap 
tapped on the battlefield. So we have Thrill of Possibility. You have to discard a card to draw two, but with Calamax, you don't have to discard that additional card. So you'll be able to draw four and discard one. Impulse lets you look at the top four of your library, put one of them into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library. And then Frantic Search lets you draw two cards, then discard two cards, untap up to three lands. Then we have Factor Fiction. You get to reveal the top five cards of your library and an opponent separates those cards into two piles. You get to put one in your hand and the other into your graveyard. Chemist's Insight is an instant that lets you draw two cards and then you can jumpstart it. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs, then exile this card. Return of the Wild Speaker is a newer one out of Throne of Eldraine. It's one of my favorite cards. I've been putting this into a lot of decks recently. It's an instant and you can choose one. You can draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control. So Calamax has four power, so you'll be able to draw four off of this. If you have him tapped, you'll be drawing eight when he copies it. Or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. So you can pump your Calamax and other creatures that you have on the battlefield up with this as well. I do like that it's modal and gives you some options when you play it. And we have Dig Through Time. It's an instant with Delve. Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. The great thing about this is if you copy it, you don't have to Delve for the cop, making an extremely great rate with Calamax Tap. Pull from Tomorrow is an instant, draw X cards, then discard a card, and then Commune with Lava is an instant. Exile the top X cards of your library until end of turn, until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. So it is important that you can actually wait until your next card to play those cards. You don't have to play them right away, which makes it really great. Next up, let's talk about all the interaction that we have in this deck. And we do have quite a bit of interaction in this deck. We have over 15 ways of interacting with our opponents. And some of these are counter spells, which are very good, but single targeted removal is going to be where it's at with this deck. Because if we have Calamax tapped, he will be able to copy those single targeted removal to be able to get a two for one on our opponents. So first up, we have a couple of counter spells. We've got counter spell. It lets you counter a spell. Arcane denial. Counter a spell, but then your opponents get to draw two cards and you get to draw one. Muddle the mixture lets you counter an instant or sorcery spell. But the really great thing about this is it does have transmute. So you'll be able to transmute this card for three mana and discard it and find a card with two mana in your deck. Spoiler alert, we do have forks in this deck that cost two and that's one of our combos with Calamax. So it's going to be able to help you find that. Unwind is a counter spell that lets you counter target non-creature spell and untap up to three lands. This is a counter spell I've been putting in almost every deck. It's really powerful. Getting that untap lets you play this for free, especially if you have a lot of interaction in your deck, you'll be able to keep your mana open to interact again against your opponents. Insidious Will is a modal counter spell. You can counter a spell. You may choose new targets for target spell or copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So this does give you a way of copying spells and forking spells as well. Mystic Confluence is another modal spell. You can choose three and you may choose the same mode more than once. Counter target spell unless the controller pays three, return target creature to its owner's hand or draw a card. I love modal counter spells. They're really powerful. They give you a lot of different options and you can play them in any situation and get some value off of them. Next up, we have Thassa's Intervention. It's an instant. Look at the top X cards of your library, put up to two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library, or you can counter target spell unless the controller pays twice X. Next up, we're getting into the single targeted removal spell. So we have Pongify, it destroys a creature. It can't be regenerated and its controller puts a 3-3 green ape onto the battlefield. Rapid Hybridization does the exact same thing, except it puts a frog lizard and then Reality Shift, it exiles a creature and then they manifest the top card of their library. Next up, we have Snap. It's an instant to return to our creature to its owner's hand and then untap up to two lands. So this, again, this is powerful. If you have Calamax out, you'll be able to double this and get up to four lands untapped for the cost of two. Beast Within destroys a permanent and then its controller puts a 3-3 three, three green beast onto the battlefield. And then Cap Size is an instant with buyback three. So you can pay an additional three as you cast a spell. If you do put this card into your hand as it resolves, return target permanent to its owner's hand. This is an extremely powerful spell if you have a lot of open mana or you have Wilderness Reclamation on the battlefield, you can return quite a few things of your opponents at your end step before you untap and start setting them back quite far with this. Electronominance is an instant that deals X damage to any target and you may cast a card with converted mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. The good thing about this is it will cast any card. It doesn't have to be non-creature or creature or any of that stuff. It will cast any card that you want at X or less. Comet Storm is a very, very powerful card in this deck. It's an instant with multi-kicker one. You may pay an additional one any number of times as you cast this spell. Choose target creature or player, then choose another target creature or player for each time Comet Storm was kicked. Comet Storm deals X damage to each of them. 
again. You copy this with Calamax on the board, you can do some serious damage with the spell. Starstorm is an instant, deals X damage to each creature, and it has cycling for three. So that is our one board wipe, and you can copy this. So if you play it for three and you copy it, you can deal six to everything, which is really powerful. So we want some ways of making sure that Calamax is tapped, and we want some ways of doing that at instant speed if possible. We don't want to have to rely on attacking our opponents. If they have a big creature out that can block Calamax, it could be problematic, or if they have some sort of combat trick to remove him from combat or return him to his hand during combat, something like Aetherize. We don't want to get blown out by something like that. So the next five cards are ways that we can tap Calamax at instant speed, and a few of them give us some value whenever we tap him too, so that's really good. So first up, we have Springleaf Drum. It's an artifact. You can tap it and tap an untapped creature you control to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So this gives you a way of ramping with Calamax, which is cool. And then we have Smuggler's Copter. It's an artifact vehicle with flying. Whenever it attacks or blocks, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. And it has crew for one. So Calamax can crew this, and then you can get some value by looting with Smuggler's Copter. And then Honor Warden Shaku is an artifact that you can tap to add one to your mana pool. So this does give you some mana ramp. And then you can tap and untap legendary permanent control to untap honor worn shaku so you can get some additional value with calamax Next up, we have a way of getting Calamax to have haste and be able to attack his first turn, which is good because we don't want to play our Calamax and then they remove it before we go to untap. So it's Swiftfoot Boots. It's an artifact equipment. Equip creature has hexproof and haste and you can equip for one. And it does give Calamax hexproof as well, which protects him. Once he starts copying instant spells, your opponents are going to want to remove him quickly because he's going to start accruing a lot of value. Then we have Cultivator's Caravan. It's an artifact vehicle. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool by tapping it and then you can crew it for three so your calamax can crew this and you'll be able to tap your calamax but you also get a mana rock out of it which is really cool so next up we're going to go over some of the cards that synergize well with instance and first up we have some spells that allow us to reduce the casting cost of our instant or sorcery spells so first up we have baral chief of compliance it reduced the cost of instant or sorcery spells by one less and whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell you may draw a card if you do discard a card so we do have quite a few counter spells in this deck so we will be able to take advantage of baral being on the battlefield goblin an Electromancer just reduces the cost of our instant or sorcery spells by one. And then Jace's Sanctum does the exact same thing, except whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you can scry one. So you do get some additional value off of that as well. Next up, we have another card that reduces instant or sorcery spells by one. It's Primal Amulet. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Primal Amulet. Then if there are four or more, you may remove those counters and transform it. And it transforms into Primal Wellspring. And you can tap it to add a mana of any color to your mana pool. When that mana is spent to cast an instant or sorcery, sorcery spell you can copy that spell you may choose new targets for the copy so this gives you some additional ways of copying spells then we have a couple of storm cards since calamax is the storm sire we do want some ways of storming off in this deck and first up we have underworld breach it's a very powerful enchantment out of theros beyond death each non-land card in your graveyard has escape the escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost plus exile three other cards from your graveyard. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice Underworld Breach. So this is almost like Yawgmoth's Will. It's very powerful. The really great thing about this is you don't have to exile the cards that you play with Underworld Breach. You just have to exile the cards in your graveyard. These will actually return back to your graveyard after you cast them. If you have some other ways of getting those spells back, you'll be able to keep reusing those cards. Bonus round is a sorcery. Until end of turn, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, that player copies it and may choose new targets for the copy. And then Thousand Year Storm is a very powerful enchantment it says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before at this turn you may choose new targets for the copy so again this is a very powerful card you can cast a bunch of spells and then at the very end you can play a comet storm and kill all of your opponents with it which is really great next up we have turnabout it's an instant. You can choose artifact, creature, or land. Tap all untapped permanents of the chosen type target player controls or untap all tap permanents of that type that player controls. So with turnabout, you can untap all of your lands or your artifacts, whichever one you prefer. And then if Calamax is on the battlefield tapped, you can actually do it a second time. So you can untap all your lands, tap them to gain all the mana, and then untap all your lands again, making it extremely powerful. You can do a lot of stuff with that. And then Wilderness Reclamations and Enchantment at the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. So we do want to be able to spend all of our mana during our turn and then at the beginning of our end step we can untap all of our lands and be able to interact with our opponents and get some additional value off of Calamax in each turn, especially since we have a lot of ways of tapping him at instant speed. 
So next up, let's talk about some of the forks that we include in this deck. So we did include five of them, and we tried to go with ones that give us some additional value or have a lower mana cost. And forks are very powerful with Calamax. You can fork your fork and keep copying your spell and get Calamax to an insanely large power and toughness. So first up, we have Reverberate. It's an instant that lets you copy target instant or sorcery spell, and you may choose new targets for the copy. Twin Cast does the exact same thing, except it's blue. Increase Increasing Vengeance does the same thing except it has flashback and if you cast it for its flashback cost you can actually copy the spell twice instead. Expansion has the same exact text on it except it only does converted mana cost four or less. And an Explosion is an instant lets you deal X damage to any target. Target player draws X cards. So you can pick which one of these that you want to use later in the game when you want to deal a lot of damage to your opponents or draw a ton of cards. You, you can choose Explosion instead of Expansion. And then Narset's Reversal is probably the best fork in the deck and it's an instant lets you copy target instant or sorcery spell then return it to its owner's hand you may choose new targets for the copy the way that this works is you can play a spell or your opponents can play a spell and you can use one of these forks to copy that spell and then with Calamax tapped and as long as it's your first instant that you cast that turn you can copy the fork spell and then use the fork that you copied to copy the original fork, then you'll have an extra fork on the stack that you can copy the original fork. So you just keep copying fork over and over and over again. And then Calamax gets as large as you want him to get until you stop that loop. Making it very powerful, you can then go to combat and kill one of your opponents right off the bat. But we do want some ways that we're able to take advantage of that and possibly kill all of our opponents with this combo. And we do have some ways in the win con section, which we'll go over here shortly, that we will be able to take advantage of this and kill all of our opponents at once. Next up, let's talk about all the win cons that we have in this deck. So we do have a couple of two card or three card combos in this deck that we can win with. And the first one I want to talk about is a two card combo with dual caster mage and twin flame. So dual caster mage is a creature with flash and whenever it enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So this synergizes with our copy theme that we have in this deck, but there is a combo that we can play with this with twin flame. So twin flame is a sorcery and you can choose any number of target creatures you control. For each of them, put a token that's a copy of that creature onto the battlefield. Those tokens have haste. So you can cast Twin Flame, target a creature, make a copy of it, and then you can cast Dual Caster Mage to copy your Twin Flame. And then you can use Twin Flame to copy Dual Caster Mage. And you can just keep doing that over and over and over again. And your Dual Caster Mages will have haste and you'll be able to swing in with infinite Dual Caster Mages at your opponents. Next up, we have a couple of ways of dealing a lot of damage to our opponents. So these won't win you the game right off the spot, but they will deal a lot of damage over the course of the game. So we have Gutter Snipe and Electrostatic Field. Gutter Snipe deals two damage to each opponent whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, and Electrostatic Field, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, deals one damage to each opponent. So these will deal quite a bit of damage over the course of the game since we are playing so many instant or sorcery spells in this deck. Then we have Ral Storm Conduit. It's a Planeswalker. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, Ral Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. You can plus two to scry one, or you can minus two to whenever you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So if you're going into that fork infinite loop that we talked about earlier with Ral on the battlefield, you'll just kill your opponents right off the bat. And then last but not least, we have a combo with Chandra's Ignition, Reverberate, and Calamax. So Chandra's Ignition is a sorcery. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and each opponent. So the way this works is you play Chandra's Ignition, and then with Calamax tapped on the battlefield, it won't copy that spell, but then you'll play Reverberate and copy Chandra's Ignition. As long as Calamax is tapped, you can copy the Reverberate and then continuously copy Reverberate, making Calamax as large as possible, that combo that we talked about earlier. And then when you're done, you just let Chandra's Ignition go off and it's going to kill all of your opponents. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you like this video and you want to see more budget commander content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can also check us out on patreon.com slash budget EDH. There's a bunch of different tiers and ways to interact with us outside of YouTube. We'll see you guys next time.